Alright guys, we're here at the range. I'm gonna do the uh, shooting review of the T Sauce Night Stalker 1911 9mm. Uh, so we're gonna start off with the first mag right out of the box. Has not been shot yet. So we got a nine round mag. We got the uh, T Sauce uh, Night Stalker here. We're about to go first mag out of the box. Um, first mag I like to do seven yards, 20 feet, 21 feet. And we're gonna go for the uh, bottom left corner. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. Shit, a little hard, could be me. Really, really soft. It is shooting a little high at seven. So it is shooting high. I'm going to bring it down some. Let's bring it down to the bottom here. First mag, we're gonna do two mag test the accuracy. It looks like I was shooting a little high. Second mag out of the box. Moving over to the right. Slide lock, two mags. So the first few shots, it was uh, high. Then it started going a little low. So I tried to figure it out and then got some more closer to the ring, but it was shooting a little left. Uh, so I'm not sure if it's the sights. I rarely shoot that left. So we're gonna to contribute to maybe the sights need some adjusting. Uh, so first two mags, 16 rounds at uh, 21 feet. We're gonna do some four round groups with the uh, Wilson Combat Elite 10 rounders. See how those work in here. Slide stop really smooth. Slide lock on the Wilson Combat Mags. Let's try the other. Nice and smooth recoil. Really, really soft. So we're going to go up top 21 feet. Really smooth action on that slide stop. Not stiff at all. All right, let's try another four rounder at 30 feet. Way high left. Down some. So very, very strange. So here's where we started the first two mags. I started shooting high and left. Started moving the sights. Once I started putting the uh, sight down here, I started getting closer to the ball. Here's our four round group at five rounds. Nice and tight. Inch and a quarter, maybe. Still left. Then we pushed it to 21 feet. One inch group, really, really tight. Again, left and high, which I rarely shoot left and high. Then when we pushed it to 10 feet, um, or it's 10 yards, Kind of got them all on the left side and high. So I'm not sure if it's something with the sights. 
I rarely shoot up and left, so that's kind of weird. But fist size, not too, too bad. All right, now we're gonna try a pair of three round groups at the one inch squares, the left and the right. With the Wilson Combat 10 rounders. Start with the one on the left. There's our first one. So it's probably an uh, inch and a quarter. Again, left, really, really tight group. And then this one a little bit low, probably within an inch and a quarter as well. So nice, good grouping on both. Um, maybe need to do some adjusting with the sights, or it could just be me with my sight picture. Uh, I've never used these uh, little U notch rear sights, so it's a little bit tighter. Uh, rear sights in the back there and then I don't have the best vision but man I'm satisfied with the accuracy of this pistol just got to work on this left left deal never really shoot left but nice tight groupings here 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 and then when I pushed it out to 10 to 30 feet I got a little bit more wider but still pretty much um, within the six inch ring all right one two three four yep six inch ring so now we're going to try some doubles we're gonna do uh, four pairs of doubles, see how we can get them. So we can see the top ones, maybe about four inches, but not too bad. Uh, center ones about the same. And then I kind of slowed down maybe half a second and got them a little tighter on the left and the right. Um, so the doubles again, just to kind of show that recoil management, uh, you can get them on target. And again, I'm not the best with irons, uh, I'm trying to pick them up quickly, uh, but I'm kind of satisfied with that. Let's do another pair or another set. All right, again, real smooth. Doesn't take a lot to bring down the slide. Let's take a look. second set much tighter here across the top uh, then went down down below and actually it looks like we got two bullseyes let's see yeah it looks like this is a double over there definitely much better on this side uh, a little bit wider here not too too bad his doubles are not bad at all they're all pretty much on target let's see what we can do with that little guy satisfied with that there seven rounds there four or six maybe two there's a double hole there so four five six seven right here this one got away from me a little bit so 21 feet going a little bit faster all within the target that i was aiming at overall pretty accurate gun very very soft recoil all right guys and we're back from the range uh night stalker you guys saw it for yourself uh, it's a pretty accurate pistol. Um, I got to get used to the sight. I'm not, I'm, this is the first uh, pistol I've seen with these U-notch, so it doesn't give me a whole lot of space for the front optic to go in between there and see the you know the equal sides. I guess as long as it's in the middle, it's good to go. But again, I'm not the best with irons. I don't have the best vision. Uh, it's the only thing that I could think of that was making me push a little bit to the right, <clears throat> unless you know these need to be slightly moved over, but I doubt it. 
Uh, it shot way softer than I thought. I'm actually surprised how soft this one actually so uh, shot. The recoil, the felt recoil was really, really nice. No issue at all. Um, for it being this large of a gun, the five inch and steel frame or carbon steel, I really thought it was gonna be just a little bit more kick. I know it's heavier, so you shouldn't have that much recoil, recoil but I think I thought the felt recoil was still gonna be a little bit of a punch, uh, but it actually wasn't. Uh, some of my smaller 9mm, a uh, little bit smaller, uh, have more of a punch. And those suckers are tuned in with DPM recoil systems and everything. This one out of the box, just, I mean, it felt nice. It was not that bad. Not that bad at all. Uh, but it was fairly accurate. You guys saw the uh, all the testing, the first uh, 50 round accuracy test that we do. And then after uh, video footage, I think I put another 50, 60. So out of 100 rounds, I think I had one single failure to feed. Uh, and it was with the uh, flat nose uh, 147 grain. Uh, it was just one out of about 110, 115 rounds that I put through it. Uh, so I, th these here, I haven't even double checked. I do believe these are eight round mags. I could have sworn there were nine. So when I loaded them to nine, it wasn't chambering. So that's kind of why I figured, hello, they're overstuffed. Uh, so I do, they're not, there's no identifiers other than the holes, but I know sometimes that doesn't tell you exactly. But I think these are just eight rounders. Once I took out the ninth one, I didn't have any issues. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't mention this earlier in the video. I didn't care to show it because it's not part of the gun, but I did buy these aftermarket Wilson Combat 1911 10 round mags. And, and these were also part of the uh, 110 round uh, testing and fresh out the box. And these perform flaw uh, flawlessly. So I probably will get, if we end up, I may try these out in competition. I got some buddies of mine. Uh, shout out to Eric and Vox, uh, 1911 boys. Uh, they want to they want to try to want me to try a 1911 in competition so you may see this bad boy uh out in one of my competition videos if so i'm gonna go with these 10 rounders because those extra two rounds man that's a whole nother target um so we'll see i may have to do about <laughs> four or five reloads in that comp those competitions but overall it's nice very very nice soft shooting uh, i give it two thumbs up uh, but you guys see the footage you know make your own decision on it any questions any feedback on it let me know. I'll be more than happy to comment and get back to you guys uh, really, really, really quick. Uh, and don't forget, follow me on uh, Instagram, uh, fat underscore tactical. You can message me direct there. It's a lot easier. I can get back to you guys quicker versus YouTube. There's not really a messaging process. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think. <clears throat> Two thumbs up from Fat Tactical. Night Stalker, T-Sauce, 1911, single stack. Pretty decent gun.